Today we're going to be talking about conductors and insulators. Conductors are objects that allow electricity and heat to pass through it. However, insulators are objects that do not allow electricity or heat to pass through it. Right in front of me, we have a bunch of conductors and insulators. So we're going to be taking two wires right here and we're going to be attaching them to the object and if the light bulb ons that means it's a conductor however if it does not on it means it's an insulator the reason why we have this light bulb is because conductors allow electricity to flow through and a circuit needs electricity so that it works however insulators do not this will help us identify what's a conductor and an insulator right in front of me first we'll start off with this copper so I'll take my positive charge and my negative charge. So I'll be attaching them and see if the light bulb ons. As you can see, the light bulb ons. So now cop, we know that copper is a conductor. Next is a sponge. Turns out a sponge is an insulator because the uh, light bulb did not work on. Next is a paper clip. A paper clip is made of steel. Steel is a metal. Turns out a paper clip is a conductor. Next is wood. Wood is not a conductor. N lastly is a, a plastic spoon. Turns out plastic is not a conductor. Now um, I'll, now we'll be testing a screwdriver. A screwdriver has two parts. One is the metal part and the other is the plastic part. We'll be connecting the metal and plastic part to see if the plastic is a conductor or insulator. If I look at the light bulb, it is not a conductor, it's actually an insulator. So now let's go and um, attach both of these wires to the metal part. Turns out this metal part of the screwdriver is a conductor. Now that we showed some examples of conductors and insulators, now we'll be getting more in depth on how the conductors and insulators, how the electricity flows through them. To understand how electricity flows through a conductor, we have to look more deeper into the atom level. The atom may, has three parts. The first part is called the proton, the red skittles I did show that. Next is a neutron, the orange skittles show that. And lastly are electrons, the green skittles. The proton and neutron create a nucleus while the electrons spin around it. Let's say I take my wires again. These wires have this copper part right on the tip. If I connect these tips together, it allows the light bulb to on. So what's happening is that the electricity is flowing through this wire, the red wire, to the black wire, therefore creating a closed circuit. However, if I let go, it's an open circuit because the electrons are not able to pass through each other and connect. Now, there's something called a free electron. If the electrons, like I just showed, if they're able to move through a circuit, if they're able to move through a circuit freely, they're called free electrons. However, insulators do not have that. The reason why only some objects have free electrons, while other objects, like insulators, do not have free electrons, is the quantity of the electrons the atom has. So for example, let's take let's take this conductor, copper. Copper as we can tell is a conductor, so it must have a lot of it must have a lot of electrons. If I take this wire and connect it to the atom, then what's happening is that it'll take this electron and the electron moves through the copper wire, allowing this light bulb to on. However, also there's a negative charge making the cop making more electrons come out. So there's always one electron going in and one going out. So it still remains the amount of electrons the atom has, but it's reusing that. 
and this forms a closed circuit. Now we're going to be talking why um, the uh, insulator is not a conductor. For example, let's take wood. Wood does not have much electrons inside of it. So when I take this wire and connect it to the wood atom, the, since there's so little electrons, the movement of the electrons does not happen at all. Therefore, no electrons are able to move out of the atom and no electrons from the copper wire are able to move into the atom. Therefore, not making this light bulb get any electrons and it doesn't work at all. This is all about conductors and insulators.